combed it. So you see what you want to see. So, uh, following the same line of thought of my friend Danilo, here's a, a message I've encoded for you guys. Here it goes. It's got two or three pages, so, you know, listen until you're ready to uh, stop listening. Wish and you shall receive. Need is only an option. It is irrelevant to get what you want. No matter how hard, hard you try to look out, you always finish by looking back inside. It starts with a proton that leads the sun. It travels filled with infinity and hits the back of your eye. It then starts the slow processing of information from one moment to the other. In order to satisfy your need to relinquishingly take a decision, you need to understand something. That moment that flashed before your eyes just passed. The particle of light left from that same sun that will crash and burn at the end of the day. He'll crash along his you can sorry, he'll carry along his business until dark darkness comes. Then when blinded by the tinkle, twitch and blink of the night, we shall search again for the light. For searching the lesser darker option, we shall seek the light. For seeking the even darker option, we shall seek the light. For staying into darkness, we shall find the light. Night and day are only two same sides on one planet. Although it is always the same sun that we turn around, the twinkle to turn around as well. For long the question was, how does our sun turn around us? And when somebody said he was right, they believed. Then people realized they were told the truth. The sun wasn't turning around them. They killed them. Long ago the question was, how does our sun do not turn around us? We got mad. Mad as shit. How can we understand something that obviously Ever and the bright blue and the light. So as far as the eyes can gaze, their, their image never stops changing. How can one find a good position for an ever ending the secret of true, warm, and lazy bright when its position is changing by the night? So as darkness falls, man searches for the bright point there where he knows to find it. Wisdom won't. As man look up and see, soon I will go crazy. Go back inside and claim his brightness. You can only hold for so long. As crazy goes down the road, you can see more and more of what you don't see when you can actually just look at Limits exist as breaking points. Down the rabbit hole of darkness, you will fear never finding the light ever again. You can always care less about that until the day you cease. But a life spent in darkness shouldn't be too much of a problem when all bright goes out, right? When once again, for the first time and the last time, man will lose his bright, stolen back from whom had given first, he'll look again where wise had pointed last. So we'll see again the same darkness, but won't fear it anymore. No more crazy, been there, than that. Just fear of seeing nothing in you. When, and then, when fear will start, you'll panic and fall again. So before, you shall not see as blind what fear he is. I'm just gonna light a cigarette before I finish this, uh, this last page. One of my friend uh, told me something. He said something really important. You know, what happens when you burn this part of the cigarette? What does it look like? What happens? It's me.
finally turned to enough of his own craziness, a man shall run out of the city, but not yet into the woods. At first, a run blindly and trip and fall in the ground skull. Only then, lying on the ground, blind first by his own darkness, and then he opened his eyes and laughs. He looked and see weeks of everlasting distance. Unintimidated, uninfluenced, and deceit free darkness. He'll wait and listen to what all let thy wings know. As blind and bright I write, out of more darkness will come less. Inside less bright shall come light. Out of less light shall come more bright. Let's just wish no more guilt.